Welcome to English Radio Barranquilla. Bienvenidos a English Radio Barranquilla. Last week, we talked about pen pals. Today, we are going to talk about the weather, discuss future plans, and describe actions in the moment. Hello. 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 Oh my goodness, it's raining. I hope I can arrive early to the school. Hello, Miss Linda. Here, use my umbrella so your books don't get wet. Thanks, Beto. When I lived in New York, sometimes it rained when I was going to work, so I'm used to this. No problem. I always use this raincoat. Hello, Carmen. I'm on my way to school. There's a little traffic, but Beto is going to take a shortcut on Via Cuarenta. Don't worry, Linda. You are lucky. There are no more arroyos in the city. Take your time. It's only 7 a.m. and your class starts at 8. Thanks, Carmen. I'm taking a raincoat in case it's, ra it's still raining when I arrive. Arroyos? Beto, what does she mean by arroyos? Arroyos? That's when it rains and the water floods the streets and everything becomes inundated with the rainwater. Oh, really? Wow, that's so interesting. I thought she was talking about Joe Arroyo, the famous singer. <laughs> Miss Linda, that's a legend here. There are a lot of classics. Hello, students. I hope you're all doing well. Let's start the class by playing a game. It's called Hangman. Ah, teacher, el horcado. That's great. We love to play that game on the board. In this game, your job is to guess the hidden word and reveal its letters one by one. Our topic today will be the weather. If you are correct, you can continue guessing. But be careful. If you are wrong, the hangman will get one step closer to being hanged. So please help and save the poor man. Activity 1. Now it's time to complete Activity 1. Ahora es tiempo de completar la Actividad 1. Go to the link in the worksheet and complete the game about weather and seasons. Ve al enlace que está en el worksheet y practica la actividad del clima y las estaciones. Miss, that was great, but we don't have the four seasons in Colombia. We only have snow in some mountains. I would like to visit a place one day where there is a lot of snow. In Colombia, we have pisos térmicos, miss. Yes, Daniela, we will read that information in your book. In the United States, we do have the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. You can go to New York, Guillo, in December sometime. Okay, let's read the information from the book. Guillo, please start reading on page 27. Colombian climate will vary depending on the altitudes of the different regions. The varying altitudes define the temperature of an area according to its height above the sea level. Mes, mes, um, what's above sea level? Mmm, sea level. Mmm, nivel de mar. So, geography plays the strongest role in determining the climate in Colombia. Continue, please, Guillo. There are four types of climate that will vary according to the altitude. Warm, temperate, cold, and snow. These define the weather in Bogotá, the weather in Medellín, the weather in Barranquilla, Cartagena, Cali, and the Santa Marta weather. See, the differences in the type of weather in Colombia depend on the cities and their altitudes. Activity 2 Now it's time to complete Activity 2. Ahora es tiempo de completar la Actividad 2. Listen to our special guest and the weather report. Describe what's the weather like in Barranquilla today. Take notes. Escucha a nuestro invitado especial y el pronóstico del tiempo y describe cómo es el clima hoy en Barranquilla. Toma apuntes. Welcome back to the weather forecast. Here's what the weather will be like during the next few days. On Monday, we will see heavy showers in the northern coast with possible fog and temperature as low as 18 degrees Celsius. Tuesday starts better with sunny temperatures. It will be higher around 11 o'clock and for the main part of the day. Storms are likely for the northern islands, but may clear up at night. 
On Wednesday, we will have clear sky with highs of 19 degrees Celsius and lows of 17. On the weekend, we are expecting more heavy showers, so remember to stay at home. Future forms are used to talk about plans. Take a look at this example on the board. I'm going to the beach next weekend. It is also used when making predictions, such as the weather. Who can tell me a sentence, please? Mmm. It looks like it's going to rain? It looks like it's going to rain would be the correct way. Thank you, Guillo. Miss, and when do you wish will? It's not a strict rule, it's just that weather forecasters usually use will because that is how we normally make predictions. Going to is used to show that something is definitely going to happen. See, I had to use it just there. Sometimes the meanings change, because if we say that something is going to happen, that is also a kind of prediction. So it's normal for a weather forecaster to say, it will rain, but other forms are possible. Going to sometimes also indicates that we expect something to happen in the short term. Usually because we can see the evidence already. If you point to a sky full of black clouds, you're more likely to say, it's going to rain because it's almost 100% certain. Yes, miss. It depends on the context. Uh-huh, Daniela, that's right. Now we will review the present continuous form. What are we doing now? We are studying, miss. Great, yes. I'm teaching. You're listening. We are talking about the weather. Hello, students. I hope you are learning with Miss Linda and you are behaving properly. It's raining again, so please remember to stay in the library during recess. Okay, students, for homework, you are going to work in pairs. This will be your task. Student A is going to send me a news report on your neighborhood using the present continuous. And student B will help student A record the news report. Include an interview with some of your neighbors by asking them what they are currently doing. Uh, Daniela. I can work with you. I'll be soon B. I have a good camera on my phone. Okay, Guillo. We can work together. We live in the same neighborhood. Activity 3. Now it's time to complete Activity 3. Ahora es tiempo de completar la Actividad 3. What are you doing right now? Write or draw your answers. ¿Qué estás haciendo ahora mismo? Escribe o dibuja tus respuestas. We asked some people what they're doing right now. Les preguntamos a algunas personas qué están haciendo ahora mismo. I am watching my favorite TV show, Club 57. I'm helping my dad at the farm. We are planting some yucca trees. My name is Claudio Rosco and I am driving now to the car shop. Let's listen to the following tips to learn English. Today I want to mention a common mistake in pronunciation that many students make. The difference between ch and sh. Ch is just like the Spanish ch in charco. In English, we can say choose, cherry, match. The sh or sh is different from Spanish. It's a very soft sound, kind of similar to an s, and we can make it long. Shh. Practice this tongue twister and try to pronounce the sh. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. After a while, it gets very, very hard. Thank you, Alex. Si desean aprender más sobre el inglés con el profesor Alex Bear, pueden encontrar unos videos informativos en YouTube con Bear English, B-A-R-E, y también en TikTok. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to English Radio Barranquilla. Please complete your worksheet with your teacher's help. 
Gracias por escuchar a English Radio Barranquilla. Ahora puedes completar las actividades con la ayuda de tu profesor. Este es un programa realizado por la Alcaldía de Barranquilla y el Instituto de Idiomas de la Universidad del Norte, con el apoyo de Uninorte FM Stereo. Hace parte de la serie English Radio Barranquilla, que tiene una duración de 10 episodios.